Hi everyone, Liam here and welcome to this match preview prediction for the match between Daniel Medvedev and Alex de Minaur in the quarterfinals of Toronto. Let's get into it. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to remind you that I'm going to the first eight days of the US Open this year, so there's going to be so much content coming onto the channel, practice videos, daily vlogs, getting up close with the players, everything and anything will be on the channel, so make sure you subscribe to check that out. Well, a very interesting matchup between two players who love to rally for long, long, long times. Um, obviously, you know, it's quite shocking the way that, that Alex Dimino got himself into this uh, into this quarterfinal match against Taylor Fritz in the first set. He looked absolutely nowhere to be found and he was down 5-1 Taylor Fritz serving for the set and had a couple set points. Didn't manage to convert those. Alex Dimino managed to get back into the set, won it in the end 7-6, 9-7 in the tie break. And then in the second set, Taylor Fritz finally managed to get some form back and some momentum back, won that. But in the third set, it was all Alex Diminor, and he sort of managed the game perfectly in that sense. You know, once he won that first set, he knew that he could try and expend all of his energy and sort of give it his all in that second set and maybe lose it. But that's what Taylor had to do instead, and Taylor had to sort of give it his everything that he didn't have enough left in the tank for that third set and Alex made sure to use that momentum and the form that he's had recently you know especially you saw him play in Los Cabos he was playing with extremely good form he came into here in Toronto using that form again and made sure to get himself the win he will be playing against Daniel Medvedev who you know against Lorenzo Mazzetti was also just he was just in cruise control I mean Mazzetti's a great player but being as consistent as Daniel Medvedev on a hard court for Mazzetti is going to be nearly impossible on a day-to-day -day basis um, so it was great to see Medvedev make sure that you know he moves him around, stays into the rallies, and just you know use that serve, especially to move him on the first point and the first shot of the point. Coming into this one, the head-to-head -head is four and one for Medvedev, so a very one-sided head-to-head. But their last meeting went to Alex Dimonor in Paris. I mean, that was a a day where I was watching that match, and Medvedev, you know, he wasn't he wasn't loving the match. Me uh, Alex was just playing extremely well. Medvedev started you know sluggish on his serving towards the end of the match. And in the end, you know, there was just a bit too many errors on the side of Medvedev and a bit too much consistency on the side of Alex. So I think in this match, it's going to be very interesting to see, you know, if Alex still has some confidence from that win. But personally, I think that was an indoor hard court where Alex, obviously, you know, he loves to play in those conditions. Medvedev loves to play in those conditions as well. You know, we've seen him win the ATP finals in those conditions. But, you know, he's mostly known for being a really good outdoor hard court player. So I think these conditions are going to suit him much more than Alex. And the fact that, you know, Alex has played a, free, a long free set match against Taylor Fritz, whilst you know Daniel Medvedev has been playing cruise control matches so far in Toronto. He'll have a little bit more energy in the tank, and he won't have travelled in from Los Cabos and been all over the place like Alex has. So I think Medvedev will have that sort of physical edge coming into this one. I think he gets the match done, and I probably think he gets it done in straight sets here to get himself into the semi-finals of Toronto.